In the pointing experiment, we begin by directing our attention outwards, observing that everything we see has shape and colour. Everything is a thing. Then gradually we direct our attention closer to ourselves until finally we're looking in at the place we're looking out of to see if we also have shape and colour, to see if we're things at centre or no thing, capacity for the world. Point at something in front of you and notice its colour and its shape. It's a thing. Bring your finger down a little and point at something else and notice its colour and shape. It's a thing as well. Now point down at the floor. I can see shades and patterns there in the carpet. Now point at your foot and notice its colour and shape. It's a thing as well. Bring your finger up your body and point at your knee. You can see the colour and shape of your knee, another thing. Bring your finger further up and point at your torso. Observe the colours and shapes there. It's a thing as well. Now, bring your finger out in front of you and point back at the place where others see your face, the place you're looking out of. What do you see here? Do you see your face? Do you see your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth? Do you see any colours or shapes here? Do you see anything here at all? I'm not asking you what you believe is here. I'm asking you to put aside belief and take a fresh look. Rather than what you think is here, what do you see here, or not see in fact? Here's my experience. Looking in, I don't see my face. I see no eyes here, no cheeks, no mouth, nothing at all. Or to put it another way, looking in, I see emptiness. This emptiness is boundless, still, awake. I'm now seeing what I am at centre, what I am from my own point of view, what I am privately. I'm now going to guide you through an extension of the pointing experiment. This involves pointing in and out at the same time. Two-way pointing. This indicates that the space at centre isn't just empty, it's also full. Looking in, I see the emptiness here at my centre. But I cannot see this emptiness without at the same time seeing what's filling it, my view out. This emptiness is now filled with my hands, the room beyond, and with various sensations, sounds, thoughts and so on. I find no boundary between the space here and the world there. My faceless consciousness merges with and becomes the world. Privately, I am the world. 